Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Flying Bear Laser Man Laser Cutter. Friends, I got a couple more steps before that first cut, so let's get cracking. All right, before we do any firmware flashing, let's open and make sure we've got the right one. Notice after a minute that alarm shuts off. And then if I check settings and about, you can see that currently we have got the 1.05 firmware, which is what we're going to update from. Friends, this is the link you'll actually find in my video. And if you hit end to go all the way to the bottom of this page, you will find drivers firmware and download and I'm going to take care of those right now we do need to download all three I'm going to just save them to my downloads folder and then I'm going to simply view that folder so we're going to do show in folder I'm going to right click if I do show more options, I have got 7-zip on my computer, so I can just extract to that folder. Same thing for the laser tool. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to use more options, and once again I want to use 7-zip to extract it to its own folder. While that's happening, I'm going to go to the driver folder, and I'm going to double click it. It is adding the driver and I'm going to tell it yes and I'm going to tell it to install it. Simple as that. That is completed so I can close that window. Let's go back to downloads and get in the tool and set it up. I'm going to double click to launch it. Tell it yes. I'm going to choose the first button and I'm going to choose the middle button to let it install. With that completed, friends, we now have the MKS laser tool on our desktop. Now, friends, this is nifty, but I can't read anything below the screen. Check it out. If we click right here, we can switch to English and bingo. Now we knew that was language and about. All right, friends, so we have got it connected via USB right now. We can click the ESP download tool, click choose files. Once again, go to my downloads and find that 1.07 bin. Now we need to track down our COM ports. So we're gonna search for our device manager. When you get there, launch device manager. In device manager, we're gonna choose ports and notice that the CH340 is COM port eight. That's the information we need. So now we can switch to COM port eight. Let's double check our numbers. We've got the 84 meg COM eight and we're gonna make this 115.2. At this point, we can click start. Now it does beep during the entire process. So I'm gonna make that a lot quieter and then speed this up so that you can see how long it did take, but also make it so it's not annoying. And right there, after about 103 seconds, you can see it finally wrapped up and we can power it off. And as they say, we can power it off and power it back on to see our new updated firmware. Once again, we can hit settings, about, and you can see that now we are up to 1.07. Easy peasy. Friends, it is time to set up our parallel x-axis. We need to go to the right side. Notice I've spun this around and we need to loosen those two set screws. I have disabled the steppers so that we can move them forward and back so that we can get access to those two screws. There you can see we've got the other one, and bingo, it is now loosened. All right, friends, so now we hit home, and then we're going to nudge it back. So I'm switching to 10 millimeter mode, and I'm going back on the Y, one, two. And this is where you need to find our gauge for our cuts, which is also the correct distance right here. So I'm going to switch this now to one millimeter, and I'm going to walk it back in 
until it fits in there just perfect. I'm going to switch to micro nudge now. See how that balance is perfect? So I'm going to pull that out and we want to do X plus. So I'm going to switch to 10 and we're going to do X plus to go all the way across to the other side and repeat that same step. And remember we loosened those so now we can slide this forward and back on this side to get the exact same distance. Once you've got the distance, that's when you grab your Allen wrench and find those little spots and lock it back in place. Just like that. I know you can't see me tightening those screws, but that's how you do it. Bingo. Friends, as I wrap up this episode, I just want to share with you that we are on my website. You can see now I have a tab dedicated to lasers, and then down at the bottom, I have the full list of videos I have for the Laser Man, and then also a link to their website, so you can find that firmware and the other tools we need for this part of the project. Friends, of course, now we're to the exciting part where we start actually cutting things with the Laser Man. Remember, friends, if you're looking for more information about the Laser Man, you'll be able to check the description of this video. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.